if spring is the eager season, then you are the late bloomer of autumn. You are definitely orange. Like an orange? Or, or a sunset sometimes. But sometimes sunsets can be purple, and purple is regal. Rare, like orange, but I've heard way more people say that purple is their color, and lavender is their look, and violet is their name, and mauve is their polish, and velvet is their skin, but orange is reserved for the Velma archetype, and the vermilion polka fan, and the pumpkin ghost, and the rustic tangerine shirt of mermaid man. You are orange like... sometimes. Orange like... Maybe? Like, sometimes, I see you by the curb in construction and the next day you are gone. Like a traffic cone, you face the sky like circus cannon, and sometimes, you're so ready to get fired up. Sometimes, you are so unwilling, you bolt your souls to the sidewalk, and I forget how planted you are, posed in pavement. I see you like a pylon between traffic lanes. No matter how steep your neck, it is always on the line for someone else's safety. You are orange like caution. Like slow. Sometimes, you're orange like Garfield on a rainy day. Your thoughts are like unchartered Martian sands. They're beautiful in their existence, but still considered alien. Your ideas are a pumpkin patch where you can't really tell which root sprouts which fruit. You just know they are grand and still growing. I've seen you wear orange like lion's mane, like pride rock and lion king, like the goldfish that stays up all night. You were orange like radioactive happiness, like biohazardous laughter. You are the beautiful disaster of Guy Fieri's t-shirt wearing Mario Batali's Crocs. Doctors will want to stabilize you. I told you orange is too creative, or orange is too abrasive, orange is attention deficit. You've already heard them call you orange like disorder, what's another couple of words before it? You are orange like monarch butterfly. Your caterpillar is similar to any other inchworm or millipede, but no one ever sees the difference between a monarch and a moth. Mum said your tantrums could be mistaken for mood swings. Your sleep patterns are not insomnia, but school-related stress. You get extra time on tests, but they were never designed to assess your kind of intelligence. Because you are orange like a clockwork. One that can be fucked up and brilliant at the same time. Maybe that's why I think you're brilliant. Bipolar disorder is less like a coin. It's less like Two-Face. It's more like the middle of a traffic light at 2 a.m. It is less stop and go, more like slow. Like sometimes. Like maybe? I noticed your prescription glasses and prescription bottles are both autumn orange. And I wonder if it's difficult to discern. Which one changes the way you see the world? And which one changes the way you see yourself?